In this problem, we have to integrate the hyperbolic tangent of x from 0 to the natural log of 3. Let's go ahead and work through it. So the way to do this is to rewrite this in a way that is more familiar. So the hyperbolic tangent of x is really sinh over cosinh. So this is sinh x over cosinh x dx. Then what we'll do is we'll make a u substitution. We'll let u be equal to the bottom piece. So that way our du shows up in the numerator. So u is cosinh of x. Then we'll compute du, which is the derivative. The derivative of cosinh is sinh. So we have sinh x dx. So you see this piece here in the numerator is our du. So it works out really nice. We'll have du over u, and that will turn into a natural log. Now, this is a definite integral, so we're supposed to change our limits of integration. So let's go ahead and do that very, very carefully. So when x is equal to 0, we have u equals cosinh of 0, which is 1. And if you don't know um, that it's 1, what you can do is you can use the formula for cosinh. Uh, recall that the cosinh of x is defined to be the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. In other words, you add them up and divide by 2. So in this case here, we would simply get e to the 0 plus e to the negative 0 over 2. So e to the 0 is 1. e to the negative 0 is the same as e to the 0. So it's also 1. So we get 1 plus 1 over 2. So we get 2 over 2. So we get 1. Now let's do the next one. So when x is equal to the natural log of 3, then u is equal to the cosinh of the natural log of 3. And this is equal to, let's go through it carefully, e to the x, so our x is ln 3, plus e to the negative x. Again, our x is ln 3 over 2. So u is equal to, so these cancel, so we get 3. We can't quite cancel these here in the second term. So what we do is we know there's a negative 1 here, and so we bring it upstairs and write this as e to the ln of 3 to the negative 1 over 2 is a key step here. So bring up the negative 1 and write it that way. Now it cancels. So this is 3 plus 3 to the negative 1 over 2. So that's the same thing as 3 plus 1 third over 2. Thinking of 3 as a number over 3, it's really 9 thirds plus 1 third all over 2, which is really 10 thirds all over 2. And when we divide by 2, we really multiply by the reciprocal, so it's 10 thirds times 1 half, and that's the same thing as 5 thirds. Wow, a lot of work just to change one of the limits of integration, but it's worth it. It's a good, good experience. So this is equal to, I'm going to rewrite what we had up here, so 0, go back up so we could see it, there we go. So 0 to ln 3. So when it was 0, it became 1. And when it's ln 3, it became 5 thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that with 5 thirds. And then this piece here that's circled is our du. 
and on the bottom we have u. Beautiful problem. This is a familiar formula, hopefully. This is the natural log of the absolute value of u. And we're going from 1 to 5 thirds. Right, the formula was this, 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x, absolute value plus c. That's the formula from uh, calculus. We plug in the 5 thirds first. This is the natural log of the absolute value of 5 thirds minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1. The absolute value symbols aren't necessary because everything is positive. So this is the natural log of 5 thirds minus and the natural log of 1 is actually 0. So this is just equal to the natural log of 5 over 3. And that would be the final answer to the problem. Kind of a nice problem because um, you do make a substitution and then you do have to change the limits. And in order to do that, you really have to know, um, you know the definition of cosine, which is really important. And you, know, you do have to know some log stuff. And the fractions do get messy, but it's not impossible. It's a nice... Uh, nice solid problem. I hope this video has been helpful.